What's up guys, Danielle here, NeutralSupport.net. And today I found something that I didn't think existed, a competitor for the Jaguar crimper. Now, if you remember, I reviewed the Jaguar crimper as part of the gauntlet for the cable cutters. This is the same style three-sided crimper that they made, made by Sunlight. Is it gonna be any good? I don't know, let's find out. To understand this, we must look more closely at its contents. Here are the crimpers. To be honest, I bought this tool thinking that it was just a crimper, not worried about getting a cable cutter, but actually there's a cable cutter on it. So we get to compare these guys apples to apples, which is nice. To start, they're the same price or roughly thereabouts, depending on where you look. The sunlight tool is a little bit shorter. So that's where the crimping surface is. Now, one big difference between these tools is that the Jaguar tool decided to put the cable cutter at the end, which we all know how I feel about the cable cutter on this tool. The sunlight tool put the cable cutter on the inside. I basically equally hate that. That's not fair. Having a cable cutter in here is incredibly inconvenient if you need to clip a cable that is, say, between two stops to a rear derailleur and you just wanna do a quick snip. You just can't do that because you can't fit the cable through here. There's no entry port. So it really is just to cut the end off when you're doing the crimping. That's one feature, interesting enough, I don't think that sunlight necessarily improved it, but we're gonna cut with it to make sure. So here's a piece of housing. So here's a shift cable. We know that I already don't like the cable cutting of this tool, but I did want to do it back to back. So there's one, still hard as ever. And there's two. So that's incredibly scientific. They both stink. I like the crimper, that's why I got the tool. And when I saw this one, honestly, I didn't even know there was a cable cutter on it. The sunlight tool looks a lot like a 60s hand grip exerciser. It uses a conical spring here instead of the nice volute spring of the Jaguar. And it just has the feeling of a cheaper tool. Now it's the same price, so it's maybe physically made cheaper, we'll find out, but the actual action feels cheaper because conical springs are just less smooth than the volute spring. Having a little bit of extra leverage on the handles also makes the action of the Jaguar just a little bit nicer feeling. I'm not very good at unlocking this tool. So when it's locked, the lock's up here. I'm not super good at flicking that tab quickly. Quick lock by flinging the tool. That kind of works. So handless unlocking versus pinky unlocking like we're kind of used to with this type of hoop closure at the bottom. Crimping. So they both use the internal crimper. That is the coolest part of this tool that I thought was the only bike tool on the market that did this, but probably not the only tool. Turns out sunlight came to market. So with the crimper in the center, similar to the other one. So this guy here closes down to put the crimp on. So that mechanism seems like it's going to be pretty similar between the two tools but we're going to test it out to the crimping so the jaguar tool we've already done before but you insert in here do a nice solid crimp i'm going to do the same for the sunlight tool i do kind of like that flicking it open thing stick that guy in there all right so these tools do crimp a little bit differently. So if we look at the Jaguar crimp here, you can see that it has long indentations that go all the way to the cable. Doesn't come off, so that's good. With the sunlight, it actually doesn't put long indentations, it puts small dimples. So you see that the, the segment that it actually touches is much shorter and those dimples don't actually go all the way to the cable. So they don't actually imprint as heavily as the other one. And I just moved this, which you probably couldn't tell, but let's see if I can get it off. Yeah, so the fact that the indentations that the sunlight crimp makes are so much smaller than the Jaguar tool. The Jaguar tool is making at least maybe twice, maybe even three times the length of dimple and it also pushes all the way to the cable. Whereas the sunlight tool bottoms out kind of early. Let's try another one. So that's as far down as the tool goes. You can see that it doesn't quite indent all the way through. 
So what happens is that small dimple doesn't hold as well as the Jaguar tool that has a nice long indentation. Fire let's see if I can do it again. Yeah, not as good. Like, definitively not as good. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna try harder. So this is the Jaguar crimp here. Let's see if I can. Like, it just doesn't move at all. It just doesn't move. It's just not gonna come off. So, in this head-to-head -head of tools that cost the same, do do the same thing, they're both crimpers, they're both cable cutters, the sunlight tool feels cheaper and doesn't crimp very well. It doesn't cut very well, but we'll leave that off the table. If we're going for crimping, the Jaguar tool has an undefeatable crimp. Undefeatable. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Even if it was much cheaper, I would probably use a regular cable cutter with a flat crimp instead of using a fancy three-sided crimp if it's going to crimp as poorly as this tool. Which is surprising, because I thought, how can it possibly not do it right? The science is there and the methodology is there. This part is cool, but it seems like this tool makes a better grip exerciser than crimper. So sorry, sunlight, maybe take some feedback if those pins came out just a little bit further on the inside, you would have a crimper that worked and it would be a cool alternative for people who maybe don't have like a QBP account. Because Jaguar, you can only really get the tools from QBP or full price online, which I guess is fine if you're a consumer. But the Jaguar tool is so much better than this tool that I'd probably trade in getting a wholesale priced sunlight crimper for a full price Jaguar tool. I'm swimming and running. That's basically it. This was actually a pretty easy test that was darn definitive. The Jaguar tool kicks this tool's butt and they do the same things. So there are only two of these that I know of on the market in the bike world. If you're going to pick one, just get the Jaguar one. Spend like two times as much money if you have to because it's 100,000% better at actually crimping. Final result. The Jaguar crimp is still on. Sunlight crimp, I tried two times. I can defeat both of them by hand with just this short amount of cable, so I'm not even really pulling all that hard. So there you go. Congratulations, Jaguar. Again. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. It was pretty straightforward. Don't buy this. Go buy the Jaguar one. It's much better. It actually works. The cable end stays on the cable. All the things you want from a crimper. Hopefully I'll be making some more videos for you guys soon, or at least as things get warmer. I don't know if you noticed, but it's a little cold in the shop since the heater isn't working and it is still winter in the Northeast even though it is kind of warm today in the 30s. That's pretty nice. Head over to NeutralSport.net. I've got cool swag, other things. You can watch the other videos on this channel. There's plenty of other stuff. So hope you guys have a good day.